Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Queen and Middle School for Life, produced in association with Academia University TV, a project of Academia University, open and free education and knowledge. Academia University TV and Hawaii Tea House TV are a part of Cyborg Alpha TV Network. Experimental TV. Well, this is what typically occurs. Uh, you intend to do one thing, but uh, something else ends up popping up. Anyways, it's 14 hours and 8 minutes into the ninth day of December uh, 2021. I'm trying to pick up uh, the viewership for my videos, uh, the viewership for the vlogs, as part of the university. And these things are all interconnected anyway. The university uh, I have, that I have online, the Academia University, which is fundamentally different. Uh, it is about exploration. It is about uh, going beyond the simple textbook, going beyond uh, your lecturer and uh, typically, most university, uh, uh, it's the professor who, who sort of leads everything, and it's within the perspective of the professor uh, that you sort of do your work uh, and are approved of or disapproved of uh, according, to your, according to your marks. Uh, I don't believe at that level of time, and particularly if you are a old enough student, or even if you're younger, I don't believe that students should be led by the hand and, and dictated everything they need to learn. <clears throat> there are definitely examples you have to work off of. But again, there are simply examples. There, this work is simply an example. You don't have to do what I do, or say the things I say, or memorize the things I say, or repeat it back to me. But this is an example of how uh, research is done. This is just one example. And there are other researchers out there who uh, researchers out there who have their own methods, uh, and they can they're free to publicize or do uh, however they want to present their work. They have that opportunity to do so. And this is what I'm presenting to university students. This is more of along the lines that well. It's not if you're going to going to become something. It's what do you what do you want to be. Well, here are all your different options, and you know, as we go through it, well, we mean, mean that I become your advisor, uh, and you can ask me questions if the questions are needed. Hopefully, alert an, enough example. There is enough example within the videos, the vlogs I'm doing, uh, that most of the questions should be answered uh, without having to ask actually ask the question specifically. So this, in many cases, these videos can be used as a, as an advisory uh, in terms of uh, how you would proceed as a student to do open education. This is, this is education without any particular rules, without any particular guidelines. You take it in the direction that you want to take it in. And this, again, comes from the quantum physics perspective of the random walk. And when I set out 30 years ago to see if it works, and well, it does indeed work. It, you know, if you are intent on learning things, it, it doesn't matter the direction you go in. At, at some point in time, as long as your mind and directions are open, you will be able to sort of uh, get to one point to another. You'll be able to eventually cover all the areas uh, uh, that are, in terms of the academic discussion, in terms of, Education, you'll be able to get, do whatever you want to do. You'll be able to go into that to that direction eventually. It's not that you, you step in immediately. And, ah, I'm an expert, and that's it. Well, this is not the case here. There is no expertise here because you're always a student. You're, you're the eternal student. You become a student for life, uh, and basically, you turn the world into your textbook. So, uh, and that being said, it's going back to this whole thing with uh, Carly Reese and. Uh, thinking about uh, the, they always talk about the uh, the assumptions they, they're doing now. The the assumptions of me. Uh, uh, and this is from the comments from the comments on the video. I don't see any of the comments because uh, I guess uh, the the platform I'm, I'm looking on uh, doesn't provide the ability to comment. It's no longer there. So uh, I comment uh, either in my vlogs the way uh, because I am a YouTuber, so I can comment in the vlogs. 
or I comment uh, on her Instagram uh, account. When I said before, because I didn't finish this part, and this is talking about people who are the so-called the CNN and Oprah crowd, and these are the people who will use these type of platforms, these type of sort of media expressions in terms of, in terms of media pre presentations of uh, of information. It's not that Oprah is is is, is <laughs> doesn't have information there. It's the depth and the level of information that Oprah provi provides that is sort of we call um, it is the junk food of. Uh, uh, is a junk food in terms of of information. It's not it's not anything that you want to sustain yourself on in terms of uh, if you want to call it intellectual pursuit. Uh, but other than that, you go through the, what you see on Oprah, and this is where you have to be very careful. Is that uh, on certain issues, I've been able to sort of do this and peruse around in terms of what's in the headlines and what's in the papers. Going all the way up to uh, New York Times and New York uh, in New Yorker, the uh, articles within the New Yorker, uh, which are supposed to be very high level stuff. In New York Times and in New Yorker, this is your called gilded bullshit, and they're all the same. It doesn't matter what magazine you go to, what uh, newspaper you go to. Uh, these platforms are all basically equal. Uh, they have their standard memes and tropes, and they'll. And this is true even for Republicans; they'll follow a particular line. I mean, it's not that I'm, I'm happy that a Republican gets elected. It's not that at all. Uh, it's just that the Democrats are so bad that you'd rather have a Republican in there. You have to go ahead, go into your your country club, talk about things the way you want to talk about things. Don't you don't have to include me. I don't want to be included anyways, and just leave me alone. A Republican will do that. A Democrat won't. A Democrat has to be buddy buddy. It, it, they they are. The Democrats are the micromanagers of the world. They have to micromanage everything for you. And they won't accept no for an answer. And they're always, they're always picking your pockets. And the thing is, is that when I tell someone, a, 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 a person who is, it's calling a person who is not specifically on the right uh, it's like, instead of calling them a conspiracy theorist, which they are, uh, these people, in terms of knowledge and understanding, are very shallow. And there's a lot of people out there, they'll, they'll judge you on one video, they'll judge you on one bit of content, and say, oh, yes, I know the person. Oh, yeah, they're spoiled, they're this, they're that. But it doesn't matter. I mean, it, it, the fact that they've actually viewed your video and made a comment actually helps, and particularly if, if your channel's monetized. Mine isn't. So... I make my money other, uh, elsewhere. I'm, I'm more of a PBS type of uh, of environment where uh, the I depend on uh, donations rather than um, actual uh, merchandise products. Um, I am working on something like that, but uh, I want to create a thrift store that's a, a real thrift thrift store, not uh, not the, the, the so called thrift stores that charge a fortune for things, but people who need to who need a discount store to, to get discount products because they can't afford uh, the typical thing. Well, that's what I hope to do. Create something like that. Uh, so I am working on it, but the thing is, it's not quite there yet. This is the way it always is. It's, a, it's always a sort of, you bump into something, you back out of it. You bump into something, you back out of it. You kind of learn the environment by, by trial and error. You're not really, you don't have control of it. You're sort of feeling around, sort of figuring out what's what. And that's kind of where I am in, with the with the store, sort of looking around to see where all the different options are. And, you know. But the thing is, a lot of people find this to be sloppy. It's not necessarily professional. You should know what you're doing right away. Or hire someone who does know what they're doing. <laughs> but again, if you've got money to do that, then go ahead. But more often than not, people will fail like that. And, you know, so, so you know, be, having someone initially, because this makes Carly feel bad, ugh, and I'm stumbling again, and I am tired, uh, it does make Carly feel bad that uh, people are saying very nasty things about her. And again, it's, a, it's an assumption from one video. 
And these people are themselves are very shallow. And there's really not much you can say to them because they don't care. Anyways, uh, I think then we'll leave this here for now, and uh, I'll see you in the next transition. There probably will be an observation vlog tonight. I got my heat working properly again, so uh, yay for that, and now it's time to go back to bed. Well, at 19 hours and uh, 46 minutes into the 10th day of December, uh, 2021, we are sort of rolling along, uh, did our shopping for the month, uh, there's still a little bit more to go, but, uh, in terms of the amount of shopping that I have to do, but, uh, I think we'll make it, uh, we typically do make it every month, uh, in terms of getting, one, the necessities, and two, uh, the expansions, oh, I try to expand every month as much as I can. I don't go out and make the purchases all at once because it's too expensive. So, I break it up on a month-by-month -month basis. So, uh, getting up uh, and going to start the YouTube stroll all over again. I'm going to start at the Alley Vlogs and found out that uh, Danielle is sort of now reapplying to Disney uh, as a Disney princess. And so, we'll see how that ends up working out. Uh, she had gone to college where she, I guess she'd gone, gone into at these sort of these theater classes. Uh, and maybe that helped out. Uh, 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 but she hasn't given up on her path. She's still struggling on her path of becoming a Disney princess. So I think that's where we're seeing, well, she is showing up in, in the family vlogs. Her own channel has kind of dropped off and there's not really not, not much there in terms of content anymore. Uh, as I said, it is diff vlogging and, and having your own channel is a very difficult thing because not only you have to do the marketing, but you also have to do uh, the filming, you have to do all the creative work. Uh, it is, in many ways, a one-man show, uh, particularly when you're starting off in the beginning. Ugh. Now, if this is part of your work that you're doing on already on a regular basis, then yeah, that's fine, but if this is going to be a primary source of income, then that's another issue. Uh, and you see what happens with even with uh, Carly Reese and her mom. Uh, they're always doing promos. Why are they doing promos? Why are they doing all these ads? Well, that's how they pay for everything, because YouTube has really diminished the paycheck for the views. Uh, I mean, I just signed up on, I just signed up to Rumble, and Rumble doesn't have, the, has the rigmarole uh, that uh, you do typically for, um, uh, what you call it for? Oh, I can't think. Uh, that you do for YouTube. But they take 40%, they take 40% of the revenue. So, you, it, it's sort of a 40-60 deal, if you will, in terms of what you're going to receive. And so it's not necessarily, you know, this is what I'm saying, is that it, you, you end up being, in terms of all the other avenues, YouTube is still the best. YouTube is still your primary choice because there's there are other ways of sort of building up an income. Uh, I mean, I went on to Patreon. Patreon is the same thing. It, again, it takes a large chunk uh, of, well, it takes about 10%, about 10% uh, off the top uh, for your revenues in terms of when you're bringing in memberships and whatever. So what happens is that, it, you know, it... it it is a difficult aspect now in terms of generating revenue uh, from your so-called media, ex me your media uh, ad adventure, if you will, your ventures in media. Uh, so you can understand concern when you're basically 17, 18 years old, you're going to try to decide what you're going to do next because high school is finishing and do you want college, do you want work, or combination of both, or, or, you know, that's your standard choice. But a YouTuber at that age, if they've had a long enough career, is sort of thinking, do I continue doing YouTube, or do I miss out on this? You know, there are things they're going to have to make, sort of make uh, uh, changes to. Their life is going to change significantly, uh, because they have the extra option of YouTube now. And YouTube presents its own sense of reality. There's always a shift in ideas, a shift in popularity, a shift in trends. Uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm not a, a person who likes to follow trends. I'm not a trend follower. 
And again, I'm not, but at the same time, I'm not a trendsetter. I'm not going out to set trends. That's not the whole purpose here. The whole purpose here is to bring out information and eventually to do uh, some cartooning and stuff like that. Is to have an environment that I enjoy. This is what it is. This, the, the, the nerd has really no social life. Uh, and so this becomes my social life. This is how I interact with people. This is why I answer comments in my vlog. Uh, people say, well, why are you talking about this person? Why, you know, well, this is a vlog part, vlog part. My notes, these are my notes, not the verbal essay, so it's not on one particular topic. Uh, this is where I jot down my notes. Oh, I went by this place, and I went by that place, so, you know, in terms of the channels, and I saw this was going on, that was going on, how people were interacting, the different issues that they're having. Now, of course, you don't see everything, but the thing at the same time is you can see in terms of a general demeanor, the general behavior, uh, and a lot of times, you, the average person can't see this from themselves. Other people see it. This is what other people see. And they've been doing this, let's say, over, over six years, because uh, that's how long I've been following uh, our family, Ness and Carly Reese, for it's close to six years, because let's, let's say she's 16. I saw her uh, again watching when she was 10, so from 10 to 16, Let's say she, she's maybe 17 now. So that's six, seven years of my watching. So over that period of time, even though there's short clips of it, you get to, you get an understanding of the behavior, you get an understanding of the personality, and you get to see how the personality changes, how the character, if you will, develops. Uh, anyways, uh, I am off. I'm going to start the rest of my day. I'm getting my, my breakfast right now, which is basically a... Uh, chocolate strawberry uh, shake and some cereal so I uh, will see you probably in the next transition uh, I don't know what's going to happen because I'm going to have to do short transitions because I do have a 9 a.m. call in the morning that I have to go work at, at uh, in terms of a contract work and I probably won't be back until about 2 o'clock in the afternoon I'll try to vlog there, but I don't know how it's going to work out. Well, I didn't think I'd be coming back so soon. It's just uh, 21 hours into the 10th day of uh, December 2021. And Matt Cassidy Jade just finished that. Uh, finished her uh, at her place, and uh, she's asking about anxiety. The question was she was doing a Q&A uh, and she was asking about, she asked about anxiety, how people feel about anxiety in terms of having meltdowns and so on and so forth. Well, because she mentioned she doesn't vlog all that stuff. She doesn't vlog everything. However, when a person's under stress or has a altered mood, it doesn't matter what they present initially, initially on camera because it is, there's a point where it comes off. Some, anything that's put on comes off. And they never cut away enough, uh, fast enough, so that you can, where you can't see there it isn't some issue there. And I tend not to cut away. I tend not to edit things out. And, well, you can see my condition as it is. When you're going into exploration, particularly the type of stuff I'm doing, you're going into the unknown. You're always going into the unknown. And that in itself creates an enormous amount of anxiety because you don't know how you're going to pay for things because most people won't want to fund going into the complete unknown. They want some degree of assurance that something is going to come out of it. But when you're actually doing exploration, you don't know what's going to come out of it. It's sort of very empty-handed because you don't know where you're going. And that's what I was saying. In many cases, because knowledge is infinite, I'm in middle school for the rest of my life, that uncertainty, that sort of anxiety is there forever. It doesn't go away. You just simply, you get used to it, you actually get used to it being there. You get used to the feeling, and you, just, you sort of figure out how you're going to deal with the various uh, emotional points that you go through. This includes the crashes. You know, I have to flip my time around. I don't know if I'm going to be able to flip my time around, or to be able to go in and do the work I need to do, and Right now, after I just finished eating, I'm not feeling that well, because I, I, this is the neurological disorder, and I always feel sick. I don't like going anywhere anymore. I, this is why I live 
primarily off the internet because it's easier to, for me to be here in a place where I don't have a bathroom that's easily easily accessible than uh, going out to maybe a restaurant or someplace else where I don't know whether or not the bathroom is going to be accessible as I need it. And I don't know when it's going to be. Right now I'm going through a lot of pain right now. There's an enormous amount of pain in my system. And this is the, these are the muscles contracting. And as I go through these muscle spasms, it creates an enormous amount of pain. So that's why I see me, uh, you know, breathing maybe a little different. You know, in terms of my body fatigue, uh, I don't like keeping my eyes open off often. Most more often than not, my eyes are closed, and so you're going to see me more often than not, my eyes closed on here because that's the level of fatigue. Because the day doesn't end and the day doesn't begin. This is why I vlog the transition points. So. In terms of answering Jay, uh, Kesley's uh, question, yeah, I do melt down, and but I do keep it on camera as well, as much as I can. Mm. See you later. Produced in association with Academia University TV, a project of Academia University, open and free education and knowledge. Academia University TV and Hawaii Tea House TV are a part of Cyborg Alpha TV Network, Experimental TV. We are Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Tween and Middle School for Life.